Basketball in the NBA is rapidly evolving in terms of both its play style and perspectives from fans surrounding it. The extinction of your dribble god Lou Williams, Joe Johnson, Jamal Crawford type shot creator has been an evidently steady decline over the last couple decades. Jalen Brown of the Boston Celtics gives you forcefully efficient production from all three levels and has adapted to the non-over-dribbling ways of the space and pace modern era. However, with under five minutes left and the game within five points, aka the clutch, both Brown and Tatum haven't been too efficient this year. They both shoot under 42% from the field and under 27% from deep in that scenario. But in that circumstance, Jalen, albeit on not too efficient splits, does shoot a significantly better percentage from both the field and from deep than Jason. No matter how you personally evaluate the game of basketball though, the 27 point per game scoring Brown's ability to make quick decisions off the bounce makes him Boston's most well-rounded offensive player. A quarter of his offensive volume comes with his slashing to the bucket where he's making 73% of his shots in the paint. All of his offense in total is coming on the highest usage rate of his career at 31.3, just 1.5 percentage points behind Jason Tatum in that category. Don't get it twisted, Jason Tatum's the all-around most valuable player for the Boston Celtics, almost doubling up Jalen in win shares, and he's well ahead of him in player efficiency. Tatum also has the advantage in true shooting percentage. At the end of the day though, hanging banner number 18 is obviously far and above priority number one for Joe Mazzulla's coaching staff and ball club, therefore it's neither here nor there in terms of who's the number one or number two guy for Boston on any given night. That said, while the first new age winning era of Celtic basketball got us accustomed to viewing Tatum as far and away the Celtics best player, that doesn't mean Jalen can't step up into the number one on occasion or even for good. As JJ Redick says, sometimes basketball is just a simple math equation. Maybe Brown's 2% behind Tatum in true shooting, but for the very most part, efficiency-wise offensively, that's the area where Jalen Brown is this team's go-to guy. Jalen leads Jason in field goal and effective field goal percentage by 3.4 and 1.9 percentage points respectively. From 10 to 16 feet away from the basket, it's been a career year for Brown. Man's shooting a career-high 55% from the field. Brown's also shooting a career-best percentage from 3 to 10 feet away from the basket, and his 73% clip from 0 to 3 feet, aka the restricted area, is just behind the 76% career-high he set in 2021-22. Additionally, JB's 55 dunks as of this recording are a career best with still a handful of games on the calendar. Jalen's 111.4 defensive rating ranks him just behind Jason Tatum for the best at his position, so Brown's right next to JT in terms of value on that end. Most of the time though, other than what you've seen so far of course, I'm not completely talking analytics as there's too many standpoints to evaluate the game of basketball from to stay one dimensional, and if you're not an analytics guy whatsoever, like MVP candidate Joel Embiid just admitted he was, you'll be happy to hear me now put the stats aside. The eye test reveals the best part about Jalen Brown is his willingness to battle through adversity and play with the utmost heart, passion, and optimism between the lines. It's evident JB's a truly great human being based off those qualities he displays, something a Celtic fan base who in large part values winning and literally nothing else can naturally overlook a lot of the time. That said, it was good to see the Celtic crowd embrace Jalen after the blowout W against Pop and the Spurs, even after JB had some choice words for the fans just over a week ago, which I'll get to. Even more than his passion and humbleness, it's how genuinely smart Jalen is that truly makes this evolving diamond in the rough an increasingly iconic figure in the sports world. Because in the absence of Kobe, We've been in search of that guy who can lead this culture into its next phase and back up his words with steady, superstar production on the court. With his gut-wrenching desire to be both the best player on the planet and of course an NBA champion, Brown may just have what it takes to be that guy. Entering his physical and mental prime, 
he's only 27 and he's only getting better. This man's explosively versatile two-way prowess gives him every weapon at his disposal deep in his offensive loadout. The Black Panther just fueled Boston to a merciless 44-point blowout win, after of which Celtic legend Paul Pierce would have to urge the crowd to get to their feet, ultimately leading to a deserved standing O. Celtic fans relentlessly want the best for their team, but it sometimes seems like they care more about what the end result will give them personally, as opposed to just being happy for the players at all costs. That's something all NBA fans can be a victim of at times. As a Raptor fan, I know I can also get extremely heated when my team is handed the proverbial L, but before their blowout W against the Spurs, Jaitlin would highlight what it's been like for him as an African American in the city of Boston as of late. You can say he was playing the race card all you want, but quite frankly, none of us can really relate to what NBA players face in the first place, let alone what a guy like JB has to face in a Boston locale that has a naughty reputation for small but deep cutting racism. Sending an evident message to the shut up and dribble community when opening up about his off court activism, the well thought out Jalen said last week, quote, I definitely think there's a group or an amount within the Celtic Nation that is extremely toxic and does not want to see athletes use their platform or they just want you to play basketball and entertain and go home. And that's a problem to me. It's not the whole Celtic fan base, but it is a part of the fan base that exists within the Celtic Nation that's problematic. If you have a bad game, they tie it to your personal character, end quote. Sad reality is, we live in a world where people say they have certain morals but aren't committed to living up to them or focusing on living up to them. Again, haters on the other side of the political spectrum will classify what Brown just said as quote unquote playing the race card, when anyone realistically saying that either doesn't know what it's like to be in his shoes racially speaking, or isn't properly making the connection in terms of what being in Boston is known to be like. For all 30 NBA teams, every city's area is different regarding how their cultures adapt to the frequently evolving nature of society. I'll leave it to the competitive yet respectful comment section to be the judge and jury though, as the story is yours and community speaks. Therefore, in your humble opinion, why doesn't Jalen Brown get the proper respect from the Boston fans consistently? Two shoutouts from my last upload and this one next time. This was DFlow and peace.